Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I will be giving you my top 10 picks for Ivysaur to buy, but please keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion, it's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight on in. So first up here is Ivysaur from the Legendary Collection. And with this artwork, you can see it's got a very vintage vibe to it. For a near mint condition, you're looking at $3.10 on this card. Overall market in the last three months, it has been showing some nice price appreciation, up 8.9%. Over the course of the last one year, though, it's actually down 18.64%. So people will look at different times of when to get in on these kinds of things. If you're looking at it when it's down low, it's starting to show a little bit of a price depreciation. Now you have an ample opportunity if you decide that you want to go do so. Some people might also want it to already be rising quite a bit, showing that there's a lot more demand. Maybe there was more attention brought to it for some reason. But with this card, if you actually go for the reverse foil on this, take a look at this card. This card looks absolutely beautiful for that background. It is a PSA grade that is hard to get. Um, now, if you went for the original, the original itself, which is what we're taking a look at here, and you guys can see that when I go to the filters. So this is for the normal, right? The normal card is $3.10. And this one, I feel, makes more sense. It's actually easy to grade. There's a population of 116 cards, 57 that have gotten a PSA grade 10. And when we scroll on down here, you can see that the price has been showing some climb over the course of the two years. PSA 10 at $80. So I think that there's enough margin there to where if you bought it in near mint condition with just even the normal card, got it PSA graded, of course you have to pay the PSA grade. Then after all of that, I still think that you've got enough wiggle room that you can be able to handle yourself quite well. The thing is that if you went with the reverse foil on this card, it's dropped down to $500. It was at one point like $650, but we scroll on down here. If you don't get a PSA 10, then you're looking at like a PSA 9 right around $210 recently sold. Uh, and with this card, if you actually swapped it over to the reverse foil, you're going to notice that it's quite expensive. Okay, so I don't want to spend too much time on just this one card. But yeah, like $250 for a near mint condition in the reverse foil, there's no guarantee that you're going to get a PSA 10. You might get a PSA 9. So in my opinion, I think that this is a nice card to go for. But the only thing is that it would be for the normal, not the reverse hollow. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This is the Dark Ivysaur winner card. You're going to notice that on the right hand side there on the artwork, it's kind of hard to see, but it's in yellow. It says winner. Now this card with the winner in near mint condition is about $22. On the three month span, you can see it's going up 6.72%. On the one year, it's actually up 2.31%. And then we go ahead and hop over. Looking here on TCG Fish, we can see that for the winner card, it's got a moderate grade difficulty. It, to get a PSA 10, your chances are 44.9%. 520 total population, you got 206 that have gotten a PSA 10. Well, what's the value at PSA 10? PSA 10, you're looking at right around $50, $49, right? So with that, you're making a little bit of profit, not a lot. Um, in fact, when you actually do the PSA grading for something like this on top of it, you're almost breaking even, but we are seeing some price appreciation that is taking place right here. So it is something to kind of keep in mind. The other thing too is that there is the Team Rocket set as of the time of me recording this video. It's not too far out. Having that Team Rocket set, those dark type Pokemon that we might be seeing, this could see a resurgence. So then we move on to the Ivysaur from Southern Islands. And with this card at near mint condition, it's at $16.49. This is for a, let's see, is this for a normal? I believe this one was for the normal. Yeah, this is for a normal. And with this card at $16.49, last three months, up 3.47%. And in the last one year, it's actually down 4.46%, but we can see that it's been making a progressive climb. So it hit a bit of a bottom, 
It's been making a climb back up, climbing up and up and up and up. And what does it look like over here? So over here, we have a moderate grade difficulty. We have 652 total cards, 208 of which have gotten a PSA 10. And then for a PSA grade 10, it's right around $71, $75. Previously, we saw it like $45. So again, it's starting to kind of make that climb up. Um, with this being near mint, it's $16.49. You're, again, kind of close to that sort of breaking even zone if you do happen to get a PSA grade 10. Uh, if you do not get a PSA grade 10 with a PSA 9 recently, it sold for right around $40. The last three, it's right around $37. That PSA 10, the last three average is $63.75. So you got, again, you got a little bit of wiggle room. This one's a little bit more risky if you don't happen to get a 10. Uh, but remember, your chances are almost 40% that you're going to get a PSA 10. So do make of that of what you will. Then on to the next one we have is the Erica, Erica's Ivysaur. Erica's Ivysaur, this is the first edition. Erica's Ivysaur, you can see that located on the left-hand side of the card. And that's in the middle zone. So then it's at $15 over the last three months. It's up 6.26% over the course of the last year. It's up 14.53%. Hopefully we'll see some trainer cards start to emerge once again in the market space. People have been pretty optimistic about that. And looking at the Erica's Ivysaur first edition has a moderate grade difficulty. And there are 158 PSA 10s compared to 338 PSA 9s. So you got about a 32% chance of getting a PSA 10 here. And if you did get a PSA 10, recent sales were looking at like $119, $100, $115, and the average is $110. If you get a PSA 9, it's at $37.70. So at a PSA 9, $37.70, then you've got a near mint first edition card at $15. Uh, PSA grading, again, you're really close to kind of like that breaking even spot, but we are seeing this having a climb up. It's looking quite dramatic, actually. And this is something for you to take into consideration. Now, on to the Ivysaur Expedition. This card is a little bit more pricey. This is looking at right around $30. And over the course of three months, not much movement going on. It's down 0.65%. It's really not anything to talk about. When we move over to the one-year price chart, you can see it's actually climbed quite a bit. It's up 16.42%. And I mentioned this in my previous video, but please remember that when prices are lower, percentage changes that shift things are much more easy to have big numbers. Like going from one cent to two cents is uh, gonna show you a much higher percentage change rather than going from $29.95 up to $30.15, okay? Just makes sense. So when we take a look at this, it's got really nice price appreciation over the course of one year. The price point, again, is right around $30, and it's a little hard for me to see my tabs, which one I'm on, because of uh, my lighting that's going on. But we're doing okay here. So moving over here, if you go for the reverse hollow, which is what we're looking at, this has a moderate grade difficulty. PSA chance is just under 34%. There's been 20 PSA 10s, 39 PSA 9s. If you get a PSA 10, you're looking at $176 for a recent sale. And uh, that was actually from last year, November 27th of 2023. So, you know, make of it what you guys will. If there's not much that's being put on the market, then realistically, if you list it at your own price, you have a potential to get something really good. Maybe. Uh, the reality is also that some people might have these on listings and people are just not buying it. But taking a look at it, we do see that price appreciation overall going over the course of the year. It is something, again, to put on your radar. PSA 9, recent sale was for $50, and overall, the last three averages at $41.67. And moving on to Ivysaur from Crystal Guardians. This card is $15. And with this one, you can see it's up 2.59% in the last three months over the course of one year. It's up 51.1%. Personally, I absolutely love the artwork on this card. I think it looks really nice, the kind of chalk vibe. I mentioned that about the Bulbasaur as well. 
And by the way, if you guys haven't already been able to tell, this is an ongoing series where I do plan on continuing on Pokemon by Pokemon, moving through the Pokedex one at a time. So if you guys are enjoying this content, please don't forget to hit that like button and also hit subscribe. So looking at this Ivysaur, we can actually see that for the Reverse Hollow, it's got a moderate PSA grade difficulty. The PSA 10 chance is a little under 32%. 28 PSA 10 cards, there's 60 PSA 9 cards. For a PSA 10 price, we're looking at $135 recently, but the average is $157.50, so it's actually higher than the last sold. For a PSA 9, recently sold at $26, but the average is $42. All right, and the PSA 9 was in 2024. Keep in mind the PSA 10 was back in February of 2023. And so now moving on, the Ivy Store from Crystal Guardians. This card, Near Mint Reverse Hollow, is just under $11, and it's down quite a bit in the last uh, one year. It's actually down 48.23%, so a big correction price. Previously, it was actually at one point right around $25.96, so it has seen a dramatic market drop in the course of three months. Not much movement. It's just a positive change of 0.22%. So it's pretty flat over the course of three months. Now here's the thing. If you go for a reverse hollow and you want to degrade this, it's going to be a hard PSA grade difficulty. So the chances of you getting a PSA 10 are pretty slim. But do keep in mind that there's not a lot that have been populated. You've got 64 cards that have been graded as the PSA 9, 23 that have been graded as the PSA 10. Your chances are 26.4%. And scrolling on down, if you happen to try and go for a grading, we have one here uh, for a PSA 10. That was back in 2022. So you got to go back two years ago, almost three years ago, and that was sold for $141. And that's the only one that's being populated here, right? For a PSA 9, it was last sold at $23.50. The average is actually higher, though, at $28.70. So if you happen to pull off getting a PSA 10 on this, there is some potential that's there. Okay, and then let's go ahead and move on to the next card. This is Ivysaur from Fire Red and Leaf Green. And near Mint Reverse Hollow, you're looking at $17.34. Over the course of one year, it's down 26.72%. Let's take a look at it on the three months time span. And for three months, it's down 39.26%. So this has been seeing a progressive drop take place. That is not necessarily a good sign, but things tend to find bottoms right? So it can only go down so much. Uh, this card, let's also go take a look at it from a PSA perspective. This one has a moderate PSA grade difficulty. Again, pretty low for the population. There's 10, uh, sorry, there's 34 cards. They got PSA 10, 70, they got a PSA 9. Your chances of getting a 10 are 32.7%. And if you happen to get a 10 recent sale, we sold uh, for $200. And before that, we saw it for $89. So the PSA 10 at $200 was this year. Do keep in mind that the previous one, that $89 one, was in 2023. The average uh, last three sold were $134.67. For a PSA 9, it was $54.95 last sold. The last three average, $48.31. So with this card at $17.34, if you could pull off getting a PSA 10, could be a nice little payday, potentially. Uh, if you happen to get a PSA 9, uh, you might have to wait and see how things continue to play out. But as the market trends have been showing, yeah, just guys, remember your risk, your risk assessment. And again, go do your own research. These are my personal picks, stuff to take a look at and, and have for consideration. Then we have the Ivysaur Supreme Victors card. And with this card, how close are we? Oh, we're pretty close. Last two, it looks like. Ivy, the Ivysaur Supreme Victors card is $4.15. And this card is up 13.67% over the course of one year. And in the last three months alone, it's actually up 17.84%. So nice looking card, as well as it's got the price appreciation going on. This is Near Mint Reverse Hollow. 
and we can see over here, it's got a hard grading difficulty. So you've got about a one in five chance of getting this as a PSA 10. I'm only seeing one card that has been populated as a PSA 10. There have been four cards that have gotten a PSA 9, four that got a PSA 8, and then three they got a PSA 6. So very few cards that have actually been populated for this. In fact, um, when we go take a look at the chart here, it's only showing the PSA 6. There's no data available on the other side. Um, so, you know, this has some potential, guys. Just keep in mind, again, your price point, what it costs to actually grade these things. We are seeing this make a nice, steady, progressive climb. The card itself looks good. And I do like the fact that the grading difficulty on this is hard, meaning that if you happen to get a PSA 10, you could potentially establish a market uh, price point for this because we're not really seeing much competition. Uh, but again, it's risky. Ivysaur, we have this as the SIR. This is from 151. Absolutely beautiful looking card. Really like it. Price point is a bit up there. For a near mint, you're looking at just under $39. And no surprise, we're also seeing a price appreciation over the last one year. It's up 34.16%. Keep in mind that this is an SIR from the 151 series. It's a very popular series. This is more than likely going to have a lot of market demand moving forward, especially potentially years from now. So here we are, three months now. It's up 30.03%. This is showing a lot of gain. And when we go take a look here on TCG Fish, you don't see the image, but it shows the version is an IR, right? The illustration rare, this is from 151. Has a moderate grading difficulty, PSA 10 chance, 40%. 40%. So no guarantee, even though it's an SIR, 40% chance. PSA 10, there's been six of them. There's been nine PSA 9s. And then scrolling on down here, you guys can see like $110. You've got like $150, $100, $155. $1. It was at like $77. And yeah, so... A uh, recent sale for a PSA 10 was $110. Another PSA 10, there was $120. Scrolling on down. Um, the average last three was $113.33. PSA 9, though, sold for $50.40. Average is $38.46. So if you happen to get this card and you were to try and grade it, let's say you wanted to go for a PSA 9, um, you'd be losing money. Okay, last sold, $50 with the PSA grading. It is showing price appreciation though, so potentially if you were to grade it, get it graded basically now, and then it continues to climb, even with the PSA 9, it very well could be totally fine, right? So again, these are things just for you guys to consider. I wanna know if you agree with me, do you disagree with me on any of these cards? Which one is your favorite? I especially would love to know that. Which one of these cards I showed you do you like the most? And let me know if you're enjoying this series, please. This is a brand new series. I am trying to get some traction. Feel free to share this with any of your friends. Um, and you guys are awesome. Please don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. God bless. We'll see you in the next episode.